Coalition of Civil Society for Defense of Human Rights has called on President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to rise up to the occasion and prove himself as a true Democrat that he had been, which endeared him to many Nigerians before, during, and after the 2023 general elections. This was made known during a peaceful mega rally at the National Assembly by the Chief Convener, Comrade Yusuf Maje in Abuja. He stated authoritatively that the tossing of Godwin Emefiele like a football in the field from one government agency to another in the name of investigation is unacceptable and will be frontly resisted as Nigeria is no longer under a military junta where the rights of innocent citizens can be impulsively suspended. However, Komer Yusuf further demanded that Mr. Gordon A. Mefiele should be released from EFCC detention or charged to court within the next seven days from today being the 2nd November 2023. The question that Nigerians are asking now, if Abdul Rashid Bawa can be released to go home, why is the case of Mr. Godwin A. Mefiele different? Is it because that A. Mefiele has committed heavier offenses than Bawa, or the federal government is being biased along ethnic and religious lines. What more will the EFCC investigate about Emifele, different from what the DSS did for several months? We call on President Bola Ahmed Tinibu GCFR to rise to the occasion and prove himself as a true democrat that he had been, which endeared him to many Nigerians before, during and after the 2023 general elections. We state authoritatively that the tossing of Mr. Godwin Emifele like a football in the field from one government agency to another in the name of investigation is unacceptable and will be frontally resisted by all well-meaning Nigerians. We totally reject this just a poor way of doing things because Nigeria is no longer under a military junta where the rights of innocent citizens can be abruptly suspended. Granted that President Tinubu is doing everything possible to rid the country of corruption, a reposition same on the part of economic growth and sustainable development through his renewed hope agenda. It is therefore our expectation that he will as well as, as well exercise some level of caution so that his activities will remain within the ambit of local and international human rights laws, instruments and protocols. On a final note, we hereby demand that Mr. Godwin Emifele should be released from EFCC detention or be charged to a court of competent jurisdiction within the next seven days, counting from today. In the unlikely event that, is demand, that this demand is not met after the expiration of the seven days ultimatum, then the federal government will have the overwhelming population of our coalition to contend with across the country. We shall continue to mobilize the media international observers and other sister civil society organizations to take various actions and measures until justice is served to Mr. Godwin Emifele. Olamikon Wisdom, GTV Africa.